Well, hello there, friends. Another fantastic recipe today. An oven roasted breast of chicken with the spinach and mushroom sauce. Fabulous recipe, super easy to do. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. All right, friends, let me show you how easy it is to make that chicken breast with a mushroom and spinach cream sauce. Delicious, super easy to do. First, I got a chicken breast right there. I put salt and pepper, and I'm gonna put salt and pepper on both sides. Right, and I got it ready to go. No skin, no fat, no gristles. I'm ready to go with the whole thing. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure my pan is at the right temperature and I'm looking for about 365 and I got it right there. I'm gonna put the chicken in there like this. And you wanna keep the skin on it? Go right ahead and keep the skin if you like the skin. I don't really care for the skin. In this case, it would be all right to do you could because you could get the skin nice and crisp. It's okay if you like it. You wanna keep it on the bone, keep it on the bone. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook it to a perfect 165, and then I'm gonna slice it nice, and you'll see it's gonna be cooked to perfection. The secret of a good chicken breast to make sure it's not dry is not to overcook it. And the only way to do that is to make sure you have an internal temperature. We're gonna check it, and you'll see how it goes. It's really, really wonderful. So we're gonna put it in there until it's gorgeous golden brown. And when it is golden brown, then I'm gonna pop it in the oven. I can do it with a fry pan. I can put it on a cookie sheet. Either way, if you have an oven-proof fry pan, go ahead and put it in a fry pan. If you don't, then you wanna put it on a cookie sheet with a seal pad uh, or, or, or whatever it is you wanna use. Try to I use aluminum paper at all costs if you can do it, okay? And all you gotta do is just get it to the beautiful golden brown color. I'm gonna move it to the next burner and we don't have to look at it anymore because I'm gonna make the sauce. I'm gonna make the sauce in here. So this is the sauce I'm gonna make, friend. This is an amazing sauce, okay? Let me make sure you see the breast that I have right here, let's see. It's not quite golden enough, so we're gonna wait just a second, and then we're gonna make it. So now to make the sauce, friends. Very simple to make the sauce, okay? We have shallots, and this, we're gonna add a little bit of butter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna have a little bit of butter, folks. Right, butter is good. Butter is good. <laughs> I hope you like butter like me. So then we're friends. <laughs> we're gonna take the chicken breast. You see, look, it's getting nice looking. Got a piece of chicken in there that I just removed. So you can take the cookie sheet and put it in a fry pan if it's an oven proof, otherwise, I put it in a cookie sheet if your fry pan is not oven proof. My oven is 375. I'm just gonna pop it in here like this. And I'm gonna cook it to an internal temperature of 160, 65. Maximum 165. All right, all we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this right there like this, make sure the shallots are light golden brown. We don't need to brown them, we just need to make sure they're light golden brown. And then we're gonna saute some mushrooms. If you don't like mushrooms, don't put them in. But you know, a lot of people don't like mushrooms it's because they never had them cooked correctly. And to cook a mushroom correctly, all you really have to do is get rid of the water. If you get rid of the water, then all of a sudden you'll be amazed at how many people would like mushroom if you only take the time to get rid of the water. I'm telling you, you would be amazed how much more flavor how much better texture they are, because people don't like mushroom, it's not that they don't like the flavor of mushroom, they don't like the texture of the mushroom. So, we got shallot going on, we're looking good, now we're gonna put some mushroom in there, let's put the whole thing. Now, let's see how many cooks we have. What would help me, right now, get rid of the water in the mushroom? What do you think? You're right, salt, salt. You know, that's how you kill fish. That's how you kill meat. That's how you melt snow. You draw the water. So this is what we're gonna do. Salt right there. I might as well put the pepper so I don't forget, right? But salt is what helps you draw the water out of the, um, out of the mushroom. Now this sauce, friends, we're serving with chicken today. But this sauce, let me tell you, this sauce I could serve it with, um, I serve it with a salmon. I make that salmon poached in butter. Oh, I gotta make that for you one day. Let me tell you, that's amazing, friends. It really is. So first you can see I'm getting rid of all the water right there. 
No water. It's very simple, isn't it? So far, this is, by the way, this is the same principle I use to make any sauce. Any sauce, the base, the fundamentals of it is an onion or a shallot. Right? And if you're going to put mushroom, this is when you put them. You put them now. And you get rid of all the water. Get rid of all the water. Take your time. This is not something you want to rush. How do you know that your mushrooms are ready? You can smell them. You can smell it, and if you look carefully, they're going to start caramelization. You know for sure they have to get rid of all the water. And then you look at the pot, there's very little water left. You see right there? I have a little bit of water right here in the middle. See, you can see a little water right there in the middle, right? But on the side of it, look, all the water is gone. You see, all the water is gone right now. So this is what we want. Not only, because water is the enemy. Water is the enemy. I find it amazing to me how many cooks are there add water to their food. If you're going to add a liquid, friends, please not let it be water. Make wine, stock, broth, juice, anything but water. Okay? I mean, okay, there's a few instances where water are okay, but not in my kitchen. Okay? So the, <laughs> the next thing we're going to do, friends, we're going to put a little bit of spinach, nicely chopped. Little piece of spinach, chopped. And we're going to saute them as well, okay? Because there's water in there too. Got to get rid of that water. That water is the enemy, okay? Let's get rid of the water. I don't put them in the same time as my mushroom, obviously, because there's not as much water in it. Now, the pot I'm using, friends, is coral reduction saucepan. You see, look. Look at the shape of it. You see the shape of it compared to this? This is like a regular... Uh, saucepan this is a reduction saucepan you see the design of it this allows me to do a better reduction and a reduction for wine a reduction for sauce but also if you notice look 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 what's happening in the back in the bottom of our pot right there you see right there that caramelization right there that right there folks is like a, like you would call it a a control burn where you're basically almost burning the ingredient right look 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 at this right there see and now look what I'm going to do. I'm going to take white wine, and I'm going to do a white wine reduction. You watch what's going to happen. You remember a minute ago we were looking at the pot, and, and, and it was like caramelization. It was about to burn on the pot, right? Now look, 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 look at now. Look at now. Look at now. You see that? You see that? How amazing is that? Look, look. All of that stuff that you saw a minute ago, a minute ago, it, it was all caramelized right there. It was a batte burn. We call it fond in French cuisine. Where we now deglaze the fond. You know how good that's going to be right there? <laughs> Let me tell you, I hope you're coming for dinner. Because this right there is going to be amazing. So now we're going to let the wine reduce. You want to let it reduce by half. Not on average. Okay, so you put a cup, you reduce down to a half a cup. You put a half a cup, you reduce down to a quarter cup. Just let it reduce. That's all. Okay, it takes a second or two. You want to get all the alcohol out so it's nice and smooth. Okay, it's pretty simple so far, right? You, you have to admit that what I'm doing is very simple. Eh? A child could do it. Not Julia child, any child. <laughs> now, look, look, look. Look, we're going to put a little bit of chicken stock. First, let's get all the wine reduced. Just a little bit of chicken stock. We don't need a lot. A little chicken broth. Chicken broth. You notice so far I haven't put any water. Not in my kitchen. <laughs> the day you see me putting water into a sauce, you know I'm done. Eh? Call, call me a psychiatrist, okay? Call, <laughs> call me a nut doctor. So look, we're going to put, a, the, the, the stock doesn't need to be reduced, we're going to put a touch of cream in there. Measure carefully, yeah? You notice how much I'm measuring everything? <laughs> you know I'm going to have to write the recipe, folks, so I am going to measure, right? So now we're going to let this reduce for a minute. And then we're going to check on our chicken. Our chicken is probably not ready yet. The chicken is probably not ready yet. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get ready for the chicken, and I'm going to take a thermometer, and I'm going to take it out. So give me two minutes. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm going to check out that breast out of the oven, friends. And right here, by now, it should be at the right temperature. It should be about... Um, you know, everybody tells you uh, 180. Don't cook your chicken at 180, yeah? You'd be good if you did it at uh, anywhere around 160, okay? I, I like it where it's perfectly cooked. 
See, right now, all right, I'm almost at 165, so I know that's going to be like uh, enough. All right, and at 163 and a half, that's enough. All right, so we're going to let it rest for a second. Let's finish that sauce. And to finish that sauce, friends, it's very simple. You look at the sauce right now, and as beautiful as it looks, it's a little liquid. So I can certainly finish it up with butter, but it's going to take a lot of butter to finish that amount of sauce. So here's what I recommend you do. Bring it to boil, and then take a little bit of cornstarch, very little, friends. Cornstarch, look, 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 I put almost nothing. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, I put almost nothing, friends. And look, look what happened. All right, so just a little bit. Like that was what, a teaspoon? Be careful. Whenever you have cream, whenever you have coconut milk, the, uh, the cream thickens, the, the cornstarch thickens very fast. So the best thing you can do now is put a little butter in there. <laughs> it's always the best thing you can do is put butter in there. So don't be shy. Put a little butter in there, okay? If somebody minds, just don't tell them. Don't tell them there's butter in there. Say, you didn't put too much butter in there. No, not me. <laughs> if you come to my house, I promise you, you feel better when you get out. Because you have so much butter. My mom calls WD-40. <laughs> it's fabulous lubrication for your joints. And here it is, friends. Beautiful. Look at this. This is great. Very simple. Let me get the right plate for this, folks. Here we go, right there. We're going to take a beautiful plate. We're going to put the sauce in the bottom of the plate, and we're going to put the chicken on top. Okay, very simple. Well, you take your sauce, put it at the bottom of the plate, just like this. Look how beautiful that sauce is. You can rub that sauce all over your body, folks. <laughs> And you take the chicken right there and you cut it. And the idea, friends, is to make sure we have a beautiful, look at this, look at this, look at this. I hope you guys can get a close up right there and see. Look how beautiful that is. Look at this, you see? It's nice and moist. You see, look, look at that. I can squeeze the juice out of it, you see? It's nice and, and, and wow. It's nice and juicy. That's because it's cooked to perfection, friends, you see? You see right there, we got a nice crust to it. Make it elegant, would you please? Take the time to make your food a little elegant. Eh? Everybody will love it, I promise you. Your guests are gonna love it. Look at, ha, ah, don't burn yourself. <laughs> don't burn yourself. In the meantime, I'm burning myself. You see right there? There, let's leave that end right there. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take it like this, look. Put it right here on a plate. Look at that, a child could do this once. Right, just do it like this, right there. And all of a sudden, you have a very simple, elegant breast of chicken with a um, mushroom and spinach sauce that a child could do. All of a sudden, look how simple that was. It took me just a few minutes to do it. You can do it. The secret, my friend, is to make sure you don't overcook the chicken. I want you to try that recipe. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to, your, to our channel. And don't forget to ring my bell so you get a notification every Thursday when we put out a new video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.